All right, so let's talk about the six epochs. Ray Kurzweil talks about the six epochs of evolution as leading us inexorably towards a technological singularity, a crescendo, an orgasm of cosmic proportion. He talks about epoch one, physics and chemistry, information stored in atomic structures. We move on then to epoch two, biology, information stored in DNA. We then get to epoch three, brains, information stored in neural patterns. We then move to epoch four, technology, information stored in our tools and software programs. Then we move to epoch five, what we're currently living through today, the merger of biology and technology, the extension of our cognition, the outsourcing to our technological tools, the creation of the eye mind, the symbiosis between man and machine that turns us into something far greater, which eventually gets us to epoch six, the complete flourishing of nanotechnology and biotechnology. We impregnate the universe with intelligence. We merge with all the matter in the universe and the universe essentially wakes up. Tell me that that is not an intoxicating idea, the kind of idea that inspired Alan Harrington to say, in my mind, having created the gods, we can turn into them.